And, Michael Steele, there's news off of Air Force One. We just saw it landing that they are postponing that New Hampshire rally now because of the, the tropical storm, the storm that is heading up in the mid-Atlantic. Frankly, our weather unit, our climate unit, was reporting to us this morning that that storm was expected to pass out to sea by Saturday, mid-Saturday, Saturday afternoon at New Hampshire, and that it wasn't going to be a big problem. Obviously, the, uh, the White House has the best information or better information than anybody else would have on the weather. But it could be a political postponement. We don't know. The governor was not coming, and they were uh, reportedly having some problems drumming up support for this rally in New Hampshire, in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I, I would suspect, Andrea, that at the end of the day, that's probably more of the story than the weather. Um, I, I think that the, the reality of it is, despite the appeals to the base and and the fact that uh, a significant portion of the base still sticks with the president, people are also recognizing the risks here, and they're taking that into account. Um, you know, I don't need to show my support for the president by endangering my health, and so therefore I'm not going to show up. Now, that makes sense for for that individual, but for the campaign, it sends a different. It says something. Different. It's a different narrative when you're, as we saw uh, in in Tulsa uh, and in Arizona, where the numbers were far shorter uh, and off the mark than what the president uh, team had projected and was telling the public. Um, that kind of political embarrassment, where polling numbers just fresh out today are showing only 37 percent of the country supporting how the president is handling any of this. 33 percent of the American people supporting how the president is handling the race issue. You don't need to compound that narrative with the visual of half-empty halls. So uh, this, to me, smacks, uh, smacks more of a political withdrawal as opposed to one that's being called upon by the weather. In fact, uh, Carol Lee knows that she and her team are reporting that some White House officials were saying, we don't need another Tulsa. Dr. Sharfstein, uh, let me ask you about remdesivir, because at the, uh, at the conference in Geneva today that we were talking about a little bit ago, uh, Gilead Sciences did report what they are saying is positive results. Uh, but this, we should caveat, is positive results on their drug. It is information coming from their company. It is not a large control group, but it is that their drug does prove to reduce the death rate for COVID patients who are seriously ill uh, by about 62 percent. How, how important is this result, or is this just on the road right. to yeah. proving the I efficacy think this is, of this? This is 